This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Alrighty, we have a York package unit here, an electric package unit. Customer says he's not getting any heat. So let's see what we can find out. First thing we're gonna do is see if we're getting power. Sorry about that shaky camera work there. Let's see if we're getting power here. Okay, we are getting power. Okay. If I could prop you guys up up here. We'll jump red and white. I see a common. I see a blue common right here from the thermostat that's naked, but I don't see the common for the unit. Jump red to white. I heard it click. That's running. Let's see if we got an amp draw. Yep. Our heat strips are on. Fifty amps. This is must be about a. It's not quite fifteen kW. Must be like a. No oh, wait. We just looks like we lost. We lost some heat there. Hmm. Let me look around here for a minute. Okay. So I opened up where the X13 motor is and where the heat kit is. That's not healthy. I mean, the heat kit is not even closed off. We're going to pull it out. All right, so we have our heat kit out. It, it looks fine. It looks like it's an 11.2 kW. But the problem is, is that it's not sealed off. It's not getting proper airflow across it. And these limit switches are cutting it off. So I, I don't know what, I'm gonna call the customer and see what he wants to do, but the, this guy's got other issues. He His compressor's been replaced. Let's see if we can get a look at that. This is a, uh, here we go. 2011 York package unit, 410A. Look at that compressor. Tell me, now, I, I've already condemned this compressor. Tell, uh, tell me, look at that. That's a used compressor somebody put in here. Very used. You can see the repiping. 
job. You can also see it here. Somebody has really been putting the works to this guy. So he wants me to price the compressor and he wants me to see if I can get this heat kit working. Man, some of the stuff you see. Look at this. These wires have been spliced with no wire nuts. I'm gonna try to hang them. Unbelievable. All right, well, this is not really the most effective way to do it, but I mean, it's the only thing I could do. You can see I put a screw here. I got a piece of sheet metal laying over that crack. Now you can see where I put a screw here and another one here and then another one back here. So there's a piece of metal right there and I did stick a piece of foil tape over it to try to stop that air from escaping. So hopefully now the heat strips won't cut on and off, on and off, but somebody has been in here messing with this unit. I mean, there's not really much more that I can do with it. I'm gonna get these wires off of that blower cabinet somehow. I don't know, I'll have to figure something out. But right now I just wanna see if, this, if the damn heater will stay on. All right, we've been running a little while. We have our full 40 something amps now. Uh, we were getting our 5KW on the red wire and the uh, purple was dropping in and out. We had a loose connection. I fixed that, a loose connection on that limit switch. I fixed that and ever since then we've been okay. So now we're gonna put the door on and continue to watch this amp draw. All right guys, we're done with this one. Uh, it, it, what we've decided to do is, is I highly, highly recommended that he get a new package unit, but he doesn't have the funds. So we gave him a quote to change out that old compressor in there and to also, all right, this is where the heat kit is. When I leave that door off, the heater works. When I put the door back on, it do, they cut out on limit. This is our supply duct. This is a mobile home, if you can't tell. So what I did is I knew his filter's clean. So I took, that's the return. You can see the great job they did installing it. I took the return off and just let it draw from outside had my amp meter over here, heat kit stays on. You put the duct back on, heat kit cuts on and off on limit. So what I found is that's a 12 inch tap with a 10 inch duct. And that duct runs right here, right here and right here, it turns up into the floor. It's choked down. They got a 12 inch tap here and a 12 inch tap there, but it's a 10 inch duct. So it's starving for air. And it's partially like right in here somewhere. It's, it's, it's collapsed, not, not all the way collapsed, but like this. So you got a 10 inch duct and then right here, it's only about that much of it is open. So it's starving for air and that's why the heat strips are cutting off and that's what killed his damn compressor too. The original compressor and that's what killed this one also. So we're gonna, we're going to take the micro, we're gonna take the top off the unit. We're gonna take the micro channel off. We're gonna take the coil off, rinse it. I'm gonna clean the evaporator, change the compressor to a new, to a Copeland Scroll 410A compressor. Um. And we're gonna get two new limit switches for that heat kit. And that's all he can afford to do. That right there still cost a good bit of money. The quote that I gave him, and I also quoted him a new package unit. He said he could afford to do all this, but he said he could not afford the new package unit. So 
it is what it is. We'll be back over here Thursday morning. Today's Monday. And uh, we'll, we'll try to get some footage for y'all. Thanks for watching.